uh, today, I think my talk is uh, somewhat, you know, uh, uh, too technical, really. That, that, that a lot of uh, uh, practic practical details of the reform. Uh, if if you prefer not to uh, to get too deep in those uh, uh, technical details, maybe I can uh, more focus, be more focused on the uh, uh, principles. Okay, uh, first I I would like to give you a, an overview of China's pension system. Uh, I think uh, I, I don't want to uh, spend time on the uh, historical, you know, ev uh, evolution of the pension system. But today, uh, after you know uh, uh, the reforms in 1990s and the early this century, uh, we have pension system. Uh, the three major pillars of pension system, uh, uh, major schemes of pension system. Uh, that is the pension for urban workers and the staff. That's, in fact, is uh, rooted from the, um, the planned era uh, for the enterprise workers and the staff. Uh, then there's a new rural pension. Uh, it's pretty new. Uh, 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 under the leadership of uh, Hu Jintan and Wen Jiabao, uh, uh, with subsidies from the central and the local governments and the uh, individual contributions to, to the scheme. And with a quite a similar framework, uh, the third pension scheme is the pension for urban uh, residents. That means uh, they are not working, you know, not, not, uh, not workers. Uh, in addition to those three uh, pension schemes, there's a, a government pension for the uh, for the government employees, uh, including those who work for the uh, uh, general governments and those who work for the uh, public institutions like uh, univer public universities and the public research institutes. Okay, they don't pay any contributions to the pension scheme. But they get very generous uh, benefits from the government budget, so mm -hmm. that that's something uh, 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 maybe uh, the public pay pay. There are many complaints from from this uh, the so-called duality, uh, you know, uh, of pension, uh, and the government uh, has decided to 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 make some changes. Uh, there are some policy issues and the challenges uh, facing the uh, uh, reform, pension reform in China. Uh, when for the major uh, pension uh, program, it's uh, the pension for urban workers and the staff. Uh, uh, one problem for that uh, pension scheme is the very high mandatory, mandatory contribution rate. In general, it's 20% uh, of total payroll from the employers and the 8% uh, contribution from individual workers. So total will be uh, 28%. Uh, although uh, some provinces uh, uh, like uh, Guangdong and Zhejiang may have a lower contribu contribution rate because of the uh, huge uh, uh, immigration, uh, the migrant workers, they contribute to the pension scheme. Uh, in those destination place, places, but usually they don't get benefits, so so they have a lower contribution rate. But in general, it's twenty percent plus eight percent. It's very high by any international standard. Uh, because the uh, the high uh, the contribution rate is very high, so those uh, uh, migrant workers and uh, those. Uh, Self-employed and uh, you know uh, those workers in the uh, informal sectors, uh, they tend not to participate because the very high uh, contribution rates. And the other is is in China we don't have a national pension system, we only have local pension system so far. So all the uh, pension programs. Are financed and managed at the local level. Uh, 
So we have thousands of uh, uh, localities managing uh, 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 pension uh, schemes, different pension schemes. So does a uh, uh, lack of uh, economy of scale and uh, very high uh, uh, management costs. Uh, so, so that the uh, the the performance of the the system is inefficient, uh, especially for those uh, theoretically uh, funded uh, personal saving account. Uh, we cannot uh, 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 have uh, you know uh, uh, investment uh, uh, other than the uh, to deposit in the state commercial banks and uh, to purchase the uh, the government bonds. Because the central government recognized the risks involved in such investment, so the government limit the investment by the local governments. Then we have a, a very low uh, return rate, uh, and in many years it's negative uh, real return rate because the, uh, the return can be uh, uh, cannot uh, you know match the uh, inflation rate. Uh, uh, the, the the other uh, in the so social you know uh, dimension, the other problem is we have a substantial disparity in pension benefits uh, between the government uh, insurance pension, government pension, and the, the pension for urban workers and staff. That's for enterprises, and also between uh, these two, uh, and uh, you know uh, between the urban and the rural schemes. So the substantial, you know, uh, gap. Um, the uh, because of the uh, the, the migration, uh, rural to urban and the inland provinces to coastal provinces migration, there's a huge transfer in the form of pension contributions from the inland provinces to the coastal provinces, because the migrants they, they will contribute in the coastal provinces. And when they return to the countryside, usually they cannot bring their entitlement to the social uh, pooling accounts with them. They can only bring the, uh, uh, the, 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 the funds in their personal saving account. That, that's only 8% of their, uh, their wage, wages. But 20% of the social pooling account, usually it's not, not portable, or it's very difficult to, to to carry with them. Uh, uh, the other issue, the, uh, the, uh, the other challenge is financial su sustainability of pension system. Uh, uh, in fact, all the uh, three pillars are heavily subsidized by, by the government. Uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the, the so-called empty individual accounts because by by design, individual accounts are funded. So the, the money should be saved in individual accounts and they should be used for uh, uh, diversified investment to get higher returns. But in reality, uh, the funds in the individual saving account have been diversified to pay the benefits of the retirees. So, so far, uh, as re reported by, by uh, uh, researchers at the uh, CAS, at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, there are over 2 trillion yen uh, uh, of the so-called empty in individual accounts uh, by the end of uh, 2011, and uh, it's continued to grow. And uh, this is uh, quite a risky, uh, given the, uh, the long-term trend of population aging in China. And uh, uh, due to the uh, growing older age structure in China, uh, the, the system support ratio, that's the number of uh, 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 working employees paying contribution to the pension scheme, to the, uh, to the uh, retirees, retirees who get the benefits from the pension scheme. That's the ratio. Uh, it's called support ratio. Uh, uh, the support ratio will continue to decline. It's declining and it will continue to decline. 
um, in fact, uh, you know, all those problems goes beyond the pension system itself because it has uh, 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 some implications for the you know labor market. Uh, uh, the fragmentation of pension system uh, become you know barriers to spatial and the social mobility of labor in China, uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, impeding. Uh, the uh, development of uh, integrated national labor market, and the second pillar get very uh, low returns uh, from uh, from the uh, deposit in the state commercial banks and uh, uh, from uh, purchasing the uh, government bonds. Uh, so, given all those uh, issues, uh, the the Ministry of uh, 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 Human Resources and Social Security in China they try to have an overall design of the pension system for the further reform in China. Uh, maybe uh, three months ago, I, uh, three or four months ago, the ministry uh, uh, organized a conference in Beijing, and uh, I think uh, six organizations and uh, institutes uh, were invited to uh, present their proposals to the uh, ministry, uh, uh, including uh, three uh, international organizations uh, such as uh, uh, ILO and uh, uh, the World Bank. In the East Side, uh, International Social, Social Security Association, yeah, and also uh, uh, the other three uh, domestic institutes, uh, including uh, uh, People's Learning University in Beijing and uh, the, st the DRC Development State Research Council under the state. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, DRC uh, Development Research Center under the State Council. And the Zhejiang University, they, pre, uh, they presented uh, three uh, uh, proposals from uh, domestic uh, uh, institutes. Uh, uh, I, I attended that uh, conference, so I am doing, uh, I, uh, my colleagues and I are working on the uh, 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 pension reform uh, for, for several, uh, for two decades. Uh, uh, so I try to Make my proposal here today uh, to 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 to. It's a five pillar system. Uh, in the current uh, uh, in current China, we have three pillars. Uh, that's the first pillar, you know, uh, the social pooling uh, 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 account of uh, of uh, pension of uh, uh, pension for urban worker and workers and staff. And uh, we we have a second pillar. It's a uh, personal saving account, uh, and also we have uh, 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 enterprise annuities and occupational annuities. Uh, that's the third pillar. But in 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 in, in my proposal, we suggest that we have a, a five pillar. In addition to the three pillars, we we want to add a zero pillar. That's a non-contributory pillar of the pension system. And we should emphasize the families in, in uh, the role of families in uh, traditional role of families in supporting uh, elderly people. You know, so that will make uh, a five pillar five pillar system. Okay, the zero pillar is a non contribute uh, non contributory uh, pension uh, uh, funded by the central budget. Covering all urban and rural elders 65 and older. The first pillar is a, is a nationwide social pooling account based on the uh, defined benefit and the pay go, pay as you go, uh, principles. Covering all urban workers and the self-employed, uh, for those self-employed uh, and the workers in the informal sector at the lower contribution rate. Uh, the second pillar is the mandatory individual saving account. Uh, I just brief. Uh, the third pillar, you know, is a voluntary occupational uh, schemes uh, or enterprise schemes um, uh, encouraged by a favorable tax treatment. The, the last pillar, you know, uh, is the uh, familial support. Uh, I think uh, one very important issue is how to manage the transitional period. Uh, I also make some uh, proposals uh, on the transitional measures. Uh, uh, then I give 
some details about the five pillars. Ba basically, the, uh, the, the first two pillars, the zero pillar and the, uh, the nationwide pooling of the first pillar. <coughs> Uh, I think uh, the problem is um, we mentioned the the the, uh, the pension for urban workers and the staff P U W S. Uh, the coverage of that uh, uh, pension scheme is still um, uh, relatively low. Uh, I think it's over two hundred million uh, workers. And plus, um, less than uh, 100 million, maybe uh, uh, 700,000 or something, you know, uh, retirees. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have uh, 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 labor force in open sector, you know, about half of the total uh, labor force. Uh, it's much bigger than the, uh, the, the coverage of the uh, uh, PUWS. Uh, so when, especially, that, that we have uh, more than 200 million uh, the so-called peasant workers, they migrated uh, between the urban and the rural sectors. So they, when they are working in the urban sectors, they are pay, they paid, they pay, uh, their employers pay the uh, the uh, uh, contributions to the social pooling account. But when they return to the countryside, they are going to lose. Uh, their, you know, uh, uh, entitlement to, to the pension benefits in the social pooling account under the current system. Uh, so, and uh, we have uh, uh, many, many uh, older, you know, uh, peasants working in the uh, uh, agricultural sector. They don't have, they, although they are covered by the new rural pension, uh, but, but the, the income, the pension income is so little. Uh, to 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 give them uh, you know meaningful support for their elderly uh, living. So we need a you know pension system uh, which is not uh, based on contributions, but rather uh, based on the uh, 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 come from the uh, uh, central uh, budget. Uh, 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 Okay, uh, there are some uh, studies proposed uh, non-contributory uh, non uh, pension already. Uh, and uh, there are some countries, they, they put uh, such a uh, uh, non-contributory pension in the practice already, such as Australia, uh, Canada, Chile, and the uh, Netherlands, New Zealand, and Korea. Uh, in China, in fact, uh, we have some elements of non-contributory uh, pension already. Uh, uh, in the uh, uh, new rural pension and the uh, uh, pension for urban residents. In fact, uh, the central governments uh, 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 provide funding to, to those, uh, to those uh, 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 schemes. Uh, uh, I think for the, uh, for the, for the inland provinces, the, the central government uh, 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 provide uh, uh, 55 yen of benefits to, the, to those uh, retirees. And uh, in the coastal provinces, they, they pay half of the 55 yen. But the local governments, they, they can uh, uh, provide additional benefits to the, to the retire retirees not covered in the uh, pension for urban and uh, uh, urban workers and staff. Uh, so that's something from the budget, directly from the budget, not based on contributions. So we have already some elements of uh, non-contributory uh, pension uh, in, in the two programs. And uh, But the money is too little, okay? Usually uh, it's uh, 55 yen per month, okay? So uh, about uh, 100 US dollars per year, so that's that's not adequate to support the elderly. Uh, uh, okay, I think we can up, upgrade uh, such uh, elements into a, uh, into a zero pillar pension in China. So I proposed uh, that the central government provide all citizens 65 years and older with benefits equal to 5% of per capita GDP. When I presented it uh, at the Fudan University, a scholar from CAS, um, Professor Tang Jun, 
suggest that we have uh, higher uh, benefits. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I, I think uh, we, uh, if we start from uh, five percent of per capita GDP, then we can gradually increase a little bit. Uh, uh, so five percent of GDP uh, per capita GDP uh, was about a quarter of rural household per capita income uh, in 2012, and close to 10 percent of urban uh, in household income per capita household income. Uh, so although everybody get five percent of uh, per capita GDP uh, of uh, of the year, uh, uh, but the but the uh, rural households can benefit more because they have a uh, uh, they have a higher uh, rel relative uh, benefits uh, to their you know per capita household incomes. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Professor Tang Jun suggests that we have a higher uh, 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 benefits. So if the benefits uh, can be uh, increased to, to 6% of per capita GDP, uh, then it was uh, uh, 2,301 uh, uh, yen in 2012, just narrowly, you know, uh, surpassed the uh, official rural poverty line. That's uh, uh, 2,300 yen uh, per annum, per, per, per capita, you know. Uh, so if we have six uh, percent, then uh, everybody can get uh, 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 pension benefits from the zero pillar. Uh, it's uh, just over the uh, poverty line. Uh, and then we suggest uh, universal rather than means tested, you know, benefits uh, for all individuals, sixty-five and older, because by doing this. We can force the public consensus on the new pillar, okay? Otherwise, we can maybe uh, uh, hear, you know, uh, political, you know, voice, strong political voice from the urban elderly. So that's easier if we give uh, the same amount to everybody. We can uh, simplify the administration because in China, it's very difficult to really, you know, to to find out uh, where. What's the exact you know, per cap, uh, the income of uh, of uh, you know uh, of uh, uh, elderly, and uh, also we can avoid the discouraging the elderly to to be engaged in paid jobs. If they are engaged in in paid jobs, that's okay. They still get the uh, benefits from the zero pillar, so that's something good. Uh, uh, the uh, the. Non-contributory pension uh, should be funded solely by the central budget. Okay, I, I think uh, uh, because this can foster the development of an uh, integrated labor market in the country and uh, alleviate barrier to uh, to uh, labor mobility. Okay, uh, if we compare the alternative of uh, 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 alternative uh, locality funding, okay, they they will put some. Uh, uh, barrier to to the uh, immigration, and uh, to help reduce the imbalance between the central and the local uh, revenues and expenditures. Uh, for instance, in uh, 2011, uh, the central government account for about half of the total government revenues, but they spend only 15 percent uh, of uh, total expenditures, and the local government they they have about half of the um, uh, revenues, but they spend 80% of the to total expenditures. So there's an imbalance between the central and the lo local, you know, uh, uh, revenues and expenditures. So the central government take care of the zero pillar, you know, expenditures that will improve the, in, uh, uh, the, the, the balance. Uh, is it feasible if we provide, uh, you know, everybody, every elderly 65 and older with 5% uh, uh, of per capita, you know, GDP? Uh, in fact, in 2012, it's, um, the total expenditures will, will be equivalent to 2.2% of general government revenues. 
and the 4.5% of central government revenues based on statistics. Uh, so it's not too big. Uh, in fact, the central government has been providing transfers to the uh, you know, provincial and the lo local governments, basically in the form of the so-called earmarked funds. Uh, uh, so the, the central provision of uh, uh, non-contributory pensions uh, will be to a large extent merely a change of the form of the, of the transfers. Okay, I think the EU marked uh, transfer is uh, funds is not good form of uh, intergovernmental uh, transfer, because even Li Keqiang mentioned Pao uh, Bu uh, You know, you you run to the militaries, you got the you know, funding. Uh, so this should be avoided because it too heavily rely on the individual decision of the uh, government officials in the militaries. Uh, and the more, in addition, uh, uh, such pension uh, can replace part of some other types of ex government expenditures, uh, such as the, uh, we, we, we said, we mentioned the central uh, funding of uh, 55 yen per month uh, uh, per, uh, per elderly uh, through the uh, uh, new rural pension and the pension for urban residents, that can be saved, right? Basically, it, it can be saved. And the, the government sub subsidies to the contribution to the individual saving accounts uh, uh, in these two schemes, also they can be saved. Uh, we uh, They can be replaced by uh, uh, zero pillar pension. And the part of the government expenditures on poverty alleviation programs as to the uh, uh, as the uh, non-contributory pension would lift the majority of the elderly uh, out of the poverty, because if we provide six percent, that's that's higher than the poverty line, and uh, it will grow with the uh, uh, current value of per capita GDP every year. Uh, I think that's the real pillar. Uh, then I I. Uh, I uh, maybe um, uh, give some details on the nationwide pooling of the first pillar at the lower mandatory contribution rate. Uh, I, I mentioned that the problem of the current uh, first pillar, you know, uh, uh, the coverage and the high uh, contribution rates, etc., uh, and the locality uh, pooling, you know. Uh, the government, the central government, uh, uh, and also the, uh, the document from the third the preliminary session of the Chinese Communist Party uh, 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 last November, they all mentioned we should have a nationwide pooling uh, of uh, the first pillar. Uh, uh, so that the first pillar should pool the nationwide and across all urban workers, including employees of the government, public institutions, and the, all and urban enterprises and also the non-wage workers, as the uh, uh, peasants, the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, self-employed, and the, those workers in the informal sectors, but they can have a lower contribution rate. I mentioned this later. Otherwise, they cannot just can cannot afford to to but to contribute. Uh, so. In, in, in our in my proposal, I uh, I suggest a uh, contribution rate of twelve percent for wage workers uh, to be contributed by the employers. Uh, in, in employers, I'm sorry, this is wrong. Employers. In return, the central, you know, the the national uh, basic pension should provide uh, all the uh, retirees an average replacement ratio of forty percent. Okay. 12% contribution, 40% re replacement ratio. Uh, is it possible? Yes, if the system uh, has uh, uh, all the dependency ratio uh, less than equal or less than 30%, or on the other hand, the support ratio remain at 33.3 33 or higher, then the system would break even or perhaps, perhaps you know, uh, run a surplus to have a 
twelve percent contribution rate and forty percent replacement ratio, then you can have a break even, because the formula is very simple. Uh, the replacement ratio is equal to the contribution rate times the support ratio. Suppose the contribution rate is twelve percent, the support ratio is three. Uh, is three times okay, is three. Then the replacement ratio can be twelve percent times three. That's thirty-three percent. So, so if the support ratio is three point three or higher, then you can give a replacement rate ratio of forty uh, percent uh, or even higher. To to in the meantime to have a break even. So that's uh, why we suggest. Today we have a, a support ratio of uh, uh, 3.1 or something, but if the peasant workers, over 200 million peasant workers, participate into the first pillar in future after the reform, then we can have a much much higher uh, 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 support ratio. It's four or five. Then 40 percent will be will not be a problem. We 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 are going to have some surplus in that. Uh, the other important measures to to encourage participation is to have a close association between pension benefits and contributions. I think that's very important for the uh, for the national pooling because there are some coastal provinces they have concerns over the possible. Uh, radical redistribution uh, among different, you know, uh, uh, different provinces and uh, among the high, uh, high wage, you know, uh, workers and the low wage workers. Uh, so we should have some, uh, you know, uh, association between pension benefits and contributions. Uh, um, so uh, we we give a formula, okay. Uh, so, for for each uh, individual workers, uh, J in in year T, they can uh, he or she can have a credit points for 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 the given year, uh, beta J T. Uh, beta J T is the uh, weighted average of his own uh, wage in that year, and the the, the average wage. Uh, the, the, his own wage is YJT. Okay, the average wage in that year is Y bar T. Y bar T. Okay. Uh, so uh, the 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 uh, the numerator uh, uh, on the on the right right hand side is is the uh, is the uh, weighted average of uh, the individual wage wage and the average wage. Of, of the year T, it's uh, then divided by the the average wage uh, in that year, and divided by one hundred. That's the credit point of the individual J, who can get uh, from his contribution. So su suppose we have a, a individual worker who has exactly the, the average wage. Uh, his that means the Y J T equals Y bar T. Then the the, uh, the numerator will be. Uh, 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 then, then, then the uh, beta uh, JT will be exactly one percent. Okay, one percent. Uh, that's the the credit uh, the, the credit points uh, for for, uh, for for the workers with the uh, average wage rate. Uh, so uh, that's in fact that's the uh, support ratio he own from. His contribution in that year. Then, does 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 the credit points of individual worker can accumulate over all his working years until his by his retirement he has uh, overall credit points. That's the uh, the summation of all the uh, annual credit points over his uh, uh, working years. That's beta j. Okay, then the benefits he he can have after retirement, 
is the overall credit points of individual J times the average salary, uh, average wage uh, in that year. Okay, in year two, that's that's the benefits individual J can get in year two. Two means the years after his uh, after his retirement. It's the over overall credit points beta J times the average wage rate in year two. Uh, so assuming a worker overall credit points equals forty, okay, say he works uh, forty years, then uh, his pension fa uh, pension benefits in year two will be forty percent of average wage in that year. Okay, that that means a replacement ratio of uh, of uh, his uh, pension will be forty percent from the first pillar only. Okay, um, uh, but the problem is how how do we deal with the non wage workers? In China, we have many workers, the the peasants working in the uh, uh, agricultural sector, and uh, the the. Uh, those self-employed and those workers in the informal sectors, and the increased number of uh, uh, workers in uh, of this nature in this. Uh, so in this area, how to design a pension which is affordable for them, and they also they can move between the formal and the informal sector and the move between rural and the urban uh, areas. Uh, so. Uh, uh, because uh, we, I mentioned we have uh, we have pension for for the so-called uh, new rural pension for the rural residents and the urban uh, uh, pension for urban residents, uh, but they have the quite a, a similar structure. So uh, in last month, the state council decided to integrate to com combine. The, uh, the two schemes into one, one scheme. It's called rural, urban and rural resident pension. Uh, but the problem is, how do we deal with the peasants? They are not, uh, non-working, they are not a non-working, uh, resident. They are workers. And how do we deal with the urban, uh, workers in the, involved in the informal sectors? They are not residents. They are workers. So they should be included in the in the first pillar of the national basic pension. Uh, uh, so the, the 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 problem, as I mentioned in the very beginning of uh, of this talk, you know, when the peasant workers they move between rural and urban, between uh, formal and informal sectors, they tend to lose their benefits. So we should have a, a first pillar, which allow them to move, but. But yet they can have their you know entitlements to the to the uh, uh, basic pension. Um, um, but there are two problems involved. One is it's very difficult to calculate to report their labor incomes because usually their labor incomes are often mixed with the income of other household members and also with the incomes of other assets. So it's very difficult to ident identify, you know, the uh, exact you know labor income of an uh, individual worker in this area. And uh, the the other problem is there are no employers making contributions for them. They have to make contribution by themselves to the uh, basic pension, uh, national basic pension. So twelve percent of Average salary, average wages, can be too high for them. If we we take the uh, average uh, uh, wage as the basis of their contribution, so uh, to resolve these two problem, these two problems, I propose uh, that first, uh, the contribution based on average wage rate, not the uh, of the uh, uh, wage workers, okay, that's easy. That uh, that that can easily you know uh, uh, get from the uh, uh, stati official statistics, okay. 
uh, then they can choose a discount rate. Okay, uh, we have uh, uh, the so-called standard, you know, contribution rate. That's twelve percent of the uh, of the uh, uh, total payroll from the employers. For those informal workers, non-wage workers, they can choose a discount rate from say twenty percent to one hundred percent of the standard uh, contribution rate. So if they choose the minimum, you know, twenty percent, say. Okay, then the contribution rate is 20% times 12%. That is 2.4% of the average uh, wage, uh, of, uh, of average wage of the, uh, non, uh, of the wage workers. Uh, so if we apply the, uh, 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 such contribution rate, okay, 2.4% to the, uh, to the average salary of uh, 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 workers and uh, uh, urban workers and staff in 2012, that is uh, uh, nearly you know uh, uh, 48,000 Chinese yen. Then the annual contribution of those uh, workers, non-wage workers, is about uh, uh, 1,100 annually or, or monthly. You know, contribution is less than 100 yen. Per month, so it should be affordable for 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 most uh, non-wage workers. Of course, they can choose higher uh, discount rate, say ninety percent, eighty percent, or even one hundred percent. Then, in the same time, if he or she chooses a, a discount rate, then his credit point will be discounted at the same rate. Okay. Uh, so the, 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 I think that the very important issue is even he or she has a discounted the, you know, credit point, since the, uh, the credit point can be accumulated over all his working life, so even at the discount rate, then he gets some point, okay? And then when he moved between the rural and the urban, between informal and formal, Still, he can have accum accumul he can accumulate all his uh, credit points over his life, over over his working years. So, so then he will not lose his or her entitlement entitlement to the to the to the uh, pe pension benefits from the uh, national pension uh, basic pension. Uh, maybe let let let's have a illustration illustration you know. Uh, suppose somebody uh, in the if uh, in, uh, in a non-wage worker, uh, he worked for twenty years in the urban sector or formal sector, and uh, another years in a rural sector or informal sector, and uh, he chose a, a discount rate of thirty percent uh, for his contribution to to the basic pension when he worked in the rural and or informal sector. Of course, when he worked in the Formal sector, he he's a wage, he's a wage worker, so he he don't have a discount. And uh, uh, after retirement, say for every for a worker, you know, uh, when he working in uh, urban sector, he get average wage rate. Suppose he he get average wage rate. So when he retired, suppose he worked uh, you know twenty years in the urban and the ten, uh, Urban and formal, twenty another twenty years in uh, rural or informal, then he get the credit points. Uh, it's a uh, twenty eight times one, plus twenty eight twenty twenty eight times zero point three. That's the discount rate, right? Uh, he choose uh, thirty percent. Uh, so that's twenty six percent. So when he retired, he get twenty six percent of. Replacement ratio from the uh, national basic pension. That's better than uh, than he move and lose. Okay, he gets something. You know, although it's not uh, up to the uh, say forty percent average, but twenty six percent is good enough. It's much better than uh, than the current situation. So that's a compromise between the uh, the principles and the reality. Uh, I, I I'm going to. Uh, Conclude very soon. Yeah. Okay. 
So, so that's, that's the basic rate. That's the zero, uh, zero pillar and the first pillar. That, I think we should have some reform in the management of second pillar, okay? Uh, in the new system, I think that personal saving account, uh, uh, should be managed and, uh, you know, uh, uh, and uh, operated by, uh, by, uh, you know, uh, uh, competitive pension asset managed companies. Okay. Uh, it, it operated, it operates, you know, uh, nationwide and that, that the company sh should be allowed to make investment, uh, uh, with, uh, you know, uh, uh, uh port portfolio or even in the, yeah, globally. Okay. Uh, these, um, manage, uh, asset management, uh, uh companies sh should operate nas nationally or even globally and have more flexibility in interesting investment uh, portfolio to get higher returns. Uh, and the local governments or enterprises should be able, should be allowed to choose among those you know, pension asset management firms to encourage competition. Okay, I, at, at the very beginning, I don't think that we should, uh, we should allow the individuals to choose because most the majority of individual workers, they don't know how to choose. As argued by Professor Barr, you know, from, uh, from, uh, London School of Economics. Yeah. Uh, uh, and the, also the operation of the pension funds should be, of the second pillar should be closely monitored by the, by the central government and the owner of the uh, pension assets. Uh, okay. And uh, I also, we proposed uh, some measures to, to, for the, uh, for the transitional period, uh, the two principles I, 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 uh, omit, uh, I skip the, uh, the details. First, that the replacement, ma replacement ratio should remain unchanged for the older workers, okay, if not improved uh, during the transitional period, okay. <laughs> so, nobody is worse off. Everybody can at least be, you know, remain the same uh, uh, situation. Uh, second, the financial responsibilities should be shared between the central and the local governments, uh, with the central playing the pivotal role. My suggestion is the central basic pen pension provides 40% of replacement pension replacement ratio, and the, for some localities, if the replacement, replacement ratio is higher, then the local governments should be responsible to make to make up the gap, any gap between the forty percent and the current pension rate, uh, 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 the current replacement ratio. Okay, uh, there are some details uh, for different workers. Uh, I think I, I'm afraid that I have to uh, uh, stop here because uh, I think that there will be some questions.